Rivals brought to you by Utah Ice Centers has arrived, and of course, we're going to the NBA playoffs, and more specifically, the Utah Jazz. The jazz, man, they've, they've woken up. This is awesome. What a remarkable season they've had. Yeah. They were in the toilet in December, had a magical, magical moment, magical turnaround, and now they're up 3 1 on the OKC Thunder, which is man. loaded with a bunch of all stars. A very improbable end to the season, and really an improbable run. Uh, in the playoffs so far. If you listen to all the national broadcasters and prognosticators and so-called so experts, they said the yeah. Jazz, it's a poor matchup for the Jazz. There's no way they're going to stop the three-headed monster of OKC, especially with Steven Adams, who actually, by the way, looks like Jason. A little bit. In fact, I thought he was. If you didn't have the gray hair in the beard, the little, the little right peppery here. there, you, you, you'd be Steven Adams and be playing in the NBA. I'm a better looking version. Just so you know, he's considered like the toughest guy in the NBA. I know that's... Oh, man. I know you didn't know that, but now you do. Okay. So your I love favorite him guy. even more now. So it's just been remarkable. This whole team, especially especially with how the playoffs have started. Uh, yeah. The Jazz lost the first game. They're a very inexperienced playoff team. But, man, they've shown that Dude. they've answered all of those moments. You know, there's... There's a lot of punching back and forth and a lot of momentum changes that happen in the playoffs. They lose the first game. They come yeah. back and win at OKC, which they hadn't won for like uh, almost eight years. I mean, it was like Halloween in like 2010. Right, it was not going to happen. And, and, and then, they, then they come home and they start having success. Russell Westbrook actually goes, okay, I'm, I'm going to call out the Utah Jazz. <laughs> right. And you knew you were going to get this. That's when you this, know you've arrived. Yeah, right. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, the Jazz, it's it's very clear, has gotten yeah. into the heads of OKC. Oh, the absolutely. last game got really chippy with a lot of technical fouls. But that's been the most impressive thing to me about this Jazz team is they've answered when they've been down, they've yep. answered when they've been up, and they have no playoff experience. I mean, this team wasn't even put together last year. This is a yeah. whole new cast of characters. I'm, what uh, Derek Favors is is kind right. of been around last year. He was injured. Gobert was here a year ago, and Joe Ingles. But other yeah. than you know, it's 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 a different dynamic, a different team, and there's just some massive energy going on. The lightning has Jazz. struck. I mean, absolutely, lightning has struck in the Jazz locker room. I mean, you just you know it. You can feel it. You can sense it when you see something like that. And they've answered the call, like you said. When you have, when you're getting into the in the mind of Westbrook, and they're gonna they got to call you out now. You know, and then Jazz come out and answer that call, right, and punch them right back in the mouth. You know you've arrived. I mean, that the Jazz have arrived, and they've got to take them serious. And now they're up three-one. I mean, who would have thought that? This, this is this is exciting here in Salt Lake City. Well, you have the the improbable rise of Donovan Mitchell, who's a rookie, and yeah. everyone, everyone across the NBA has just been so impressed that, that he's been so mature and hasn't acted like a rookie. And I, I just watch him play, and here he goes in the game, and he's the guy calling for the ball. Yeah. He's the guy that's just like holding it all together. He's the guy that's just you know I I'm okay taking the tough shot. I'm okay having that moment it's not too big for him none of it has been too big for him and this team so it's just been in a very impressive maturity level for a rookie i don't know that i've ever seen that I, you always yeah. see these guys that there's kind of a uh they, it takes them a year or two to really understand how, what the playoffs are like how are like how to win in the playoffs and he just hasn't been that player he's been yeah. a guy that's that, that to this point now I may be wrong down the road I don't know but but right I now, tell you he has been extremely mature very very mature and the right you know all these pieces of the puzzle are coming together for him right and I look at it, I'm going okay teamwork which is a you know the, this the stable staple of Utah Jazz you got teamwork and defense wins championships you know that, that which you love to hear well, and say <laughs> and, and and it's true and it's true it, though it, but, it doesn't go away they're playing well, great defense they're playing great team ball you got the you know pe people stepping up to the plate and you know and being that leader i mean all the little pieces are coming together right now for them what's fascinating about the jazz and where they go with the rest of the playoffs yeah. is it's all about team it and is. everyone thought that the it. superstars, the isolation offense, the one-on-one, -on -one, the you know the R Westbrook, the Paul George, the Carmelo Anthony, superstar, perennial all-star was that was just gonna hands down yeah. be the difference in this, and it's been the team concept, Which and the you Jazz love. have bought into this, yes. and they truly like actually playing for one another. It's not some hokey you know phrase they use. 
but you can tell that they really believe it. They're really focused. Yeah. The Jazz are turning the NBA playoffs on their ear with this team first defense wins mentality. It's, it's that awesome. sixth man, right? It's that it's that extra it's the teamwork. It's the magic of sports. It's that sixth man that comes in to play that, that just getting them over the top. The seventh man, the crowd. I mean, the Jazz has everything going in their formula right now, and that extra special, it's, that, it's what makes sports magical, you know, when you, when, you, when you have those people aren't supposed to win, but they find that way to win, and that, that magic of, of teamwork that gives them that extra strength, you just, you can't replace it when it's all working right. You, you can't help but pull for yeah. those teams in yeah. those underdog situations. Going to be a fun playoffs to continue to watch. This Jazz team is exciting. It looks like they'll probably win this playoff series. They've got to go yeah, to OKC. Should. And again, this is another, how do you handle, can you close out a series? You, you know, that's the it. next step to see if they have the maturity level to do that. And then, of course, they're probably going to end up playing Houston, which is going to be a tough out. I know no one's giving them a chance, but again, the power of this chemistry and the synergy they have, it'll, it'll be interesting Love to see, horse. see how it's going to happen because yeah. I, I don't think this team is ready to quit playing basketball right now. All right, well, Rivals has arrived, and, of course, now this episode is over. Yeah, well, off to the corners. <laughs> I'm not him, I don't like Jason it. Buck. And I'm not Scott Mitchell. We are related. We'll catch you soon.